Learning, as what somebody once said about education, is what remains after the facts have been forgotten. So it's a question of understanding what happened. And you know, it's great to know how big the Hoover Dam is or you know, when the Revolutionary War was or you know, what was you know, uh, you know, VE Day. But ultimately, you put all that, I've got an awful memory, but I have read so much and learned so much, even though I've forgotten most of the facts, I still am imbued with this understanding of the sort of the zeitgeist around it. And that lets me think of different things and, and broaden my horizons. So I would say that, 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 that learning is, the, is not a question of facts. Um, it's a question of the framework and, the, and again, the diversity um, of, of knowledge and, and information and, and the past and the present and the possibilities of the future that make life a much richer place. I think lifelong learning is critically important for two reasons. One, it's fun. Just learning what people have done before, learning about things if you were, I, curiosity is one of those most amazing characteristics that anybody can have. And, and so having all this constant input and expanding your mind is just fun, number one. But number two, it makes you more effective at anything you do. Um, I've, I have made it a principle not to invest in college dropouts. I mean, this is, a, is controversial, but I don't invest in people who have started college and dropped out. Why, you might have, that sounds really awful. I mean, you know, Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates and Steve Jobs all dropped out, you wouldn't have invested in them. I, on principle, because that's how much I invest in education because and particularly for entrepreneurs who are the first people who want to drop out oh i got a great idea so i'm going to quickly run out tomorrow morning and start a company and and what the school is all this boring stuff there but it's not the skills you learn in school it's the mind expanding knowledge and by being a, a learner a lifelong learner starting in school and continuing by reading through the rest of your life this is where you you learn to analogize to other kinds of things you know what would sun tzu do right in terms of applied to business when when you know napoleon was invading russia he's a military analogies, but they could be any other analogies as well. What happened to Andrew Carnegie in terms of, of building a company? Um, you know, how, do, how do you know plants work, an ecosystem, a biological ecosystem? How does that affect the kinds of things that, that we're, we're doing here? Um, by having all of these other pieces of knowledge and experience of humanity that you have learned about, it makes you much more able to apply historical learnings and greater um, things that have happened in other industries and other areas and other ecosystems into what you're doing. So the combination of fun and utility, I mean, that's it. Uh, I, I try and learn all the time, um, and, I, and I find life to be just so extraordinary when you're learning. And, and for me, what it sounds amazing, and I, and I can't even believe that I'm saying this, but I would say that one of the things that I am increasingly understanding is the value of diversity. Um, not a question of tolerance. I grew up in a very liberal household. I'm a very liberal person, no prejudice to, against anybody. But I've tended to live in a, bit, in a bit of a bubble. I'm living in Manhattan, in New York City, in a tech finance world. I went to Ivy League schools and great high schools. And so a lot of people I know tend to look a bit like me. Um, better looking, but in the this, this, this same kind of, kind of uh, you know, environment that, that I'm in. And, and the more I participate in online conversations, the more I work with people in businesses and entrepreneurs who are coming from completely different backgrounds, um, different ethnic and social and economic and religious and gender and, and um, every kind of background, the more you see how rich this world is uh, and how we have recently started a, a major diversity push uh, at Gus at our, at our, at our company. Um, I mean, we, we have, you know, probably more, you know, people of, you know, you know, more women, more people of color and stuff than most companies of, of our size. But that's not enough. Every, every time we, 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 somebody comes in who is coming from a different perspective. We find that that adds so much more to the company, to what we're doing, to the products, to the interaction among people, to the understanding of things, that the, the older I get now, the more diverse I am looking to be in terms of friends, in terms of company, in terms of employees, team members, portfolio companies. Diversity is really good. Mm -hmm.